Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have never seen this many free packs dropped at one time inside of FIFA 23. We have got free packs from objectives and the rewards from the FIFA World Cup Qatar limited time, uh, I guess you call them like collector's rewards, right? We're going to talk about all of that in today's video because in the next 48 hours in this game, there are going to be some very high level packs that people are going to be getting for just doing some of those very easy objectives and collecting those World Cup cards. And I think it's going to impact the market. So I want to talk about all all of those packs and why it's going to make a lot of people go and do SBCs from the fodder that they are getting from those packs and how it's going to affect the rest of the market because will people be packing some of the new winter wild cards? Will they be packing cards that they maybe want to go ahead and put in their team? Could that actually cause the market to drop a little bit? We'll talk about that in today's video and of course what content to expect today on a Tuesday in FIFA 23. So there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about these packs because today's a massive day on FIFA. Regardless of what other content we get, a lot of people, including myself, have completed this Winter Wildcards daily login SBC 11 times. Today will be the 12th and final time we have to complete it. And completing this for the last time will get you an 83 plus times 10 pack, 10 cards, 83 plus, all untradeable, and that makes a difference. We'll talk about that. 83 times 10 untradeable and the guaranteed Winter Wild Cards player pack. So a lot of people are going to get this either today or tomorrow, and that's going to, again, supply, again, a Winter Wild Cards player to everybody, probably one of the lower tier ones, and also a lot of fodder. 83 rated cards times 10. You know, a lot of people will get some walkouts from that. You'll have the potential to get promo cards, but the real big packs hit tomorrow so a combination of those packs today and these packs tomorrow on wednesday the fifa world cup rewards i guess you would call them right so depending on how many players you've collected these kind of the limited time uh annoying now world cup players right these are disappearing tomorrow by the way as well but a lot of people have collected all 10 levels and however many levels you've collected you get that level's rewards and all of them, right? You can see on the left, it says gather World Cup players to earn all 10 reward levels at the event, end of the event. And the end of the event is tomorrow. So you got 85 plus times three. You've got 3,000 coins and a 100K pack. 81 times 11. You've got some player picks and a little bit more coins and 80 plus times eight. So much fodder is going to be put into people's clubs. So many packs are just going to be opened in the next two to three days on this game. It's going to be absolutely crazy. I don't think we've ever seen a time where there's been this many packs opened up in this short of amount of time because they're all kind of like free in a way as well. The daily login SBC, you turn in one bronze player. Those World Cup objectives, all you had to do was kind of play the game, get packs from rewards and you basically get a lot of those levels completed just by doing that it's going to put a whole different emphasis and a grind on the game so much of the grind is going to be now doing SBCs because everybody's going to be opening packs, getting a lot of cards, and people are going to be stocked. Clubs are going to be stocked full of those 83, 84, 85 rated players, and it's going to make people go do SBCs because they're going to have duplicates, and they're going to have the fodder and the cards in their club to go and do the, a, car, a card like Jarzinho via SBC, or maybe the base icon player pick, or maybe even it's one of the good value SBC players like Payet. Maybe they're going to do DePaul. Maybe they're going to do the Tony Cruz SBC, Silas, or Eric Bailly. There's so many SBCs out right now that people can put cards into. So it's going to be an absolute mad dash with all that fodder and people going and doing those SBCs. Now, of course, all these packs are untradeable, right? So it's not going to crash the market from a standpoint of people are going to open these packs and it's going to absolutely kill fodder since everybody is getting it, right? That's the common misconception, I think, here. Since people are going to be getting all these 83, 84, 85 rated players, they're going to go do SBCs. I think it's actually going to make fodder go up in price. That's going to be the first impact that we're going to see on this market because, again, all of these are untradeable. And when you have a bunch of untradeable cards in your club, you go and do an SBC, you start it, and you still maybe have to buy a couple players to finish off that SBC, right? You saw it yet start yesterday with the top tier cards. Look at how high some of the 91s have gone in just the past 24 hours. Yesterday at content, Lewandowski was 56, 55,000 coins. We had not a lot of content yesterday, but we had upgrade packs. 
people going and doing the Jarzinho, people going and doing the Maldini SBCs that require some of the higher rated squads, and maybe even guys like Tony Cruz, right? The base icon player pick, which has, uh, you know, what, 85 and 86 rated squad, people will turn in 90s and 91s for this. You have high rated fodder, especially your 90s and 91s, exploding in price after yesterday uh, because people are still going out and doing SBCs. These guys are going to go even higher, in my opinion, because again, I really think that with these packs giving out so many gold players, and uh, albeit some winter wild cards probably as well, people are going to go out and do SBCs. And when people are doing SBCs, these cards just kind of slowly rise. I mean, you saw it yesterday. I love this market index tool on Footbin. You can see yesterday when EA dropped the SBC that they did. Uh, you can see that the fodder market went up really, really nice. And then it kind of cooled off a little bit, but fodder prices on the low tier are not that high. 84 is at 3K, 85 is at like 7.2. That's not that high. But I think that throughout the rest of this week, the emphasis is going to be placed more and more on people doing SBCs with the fodder that they have, buying a couple cards to finish off the side. And that's why I told you guys to hold these cards that we invested in over the weekend, hold them and be listing them throughout the rest of this week because EA could even put out more SBCs because they know people are going to have so many cards in their club to go and do SBCs with. So keep lazy listing these cards for 1,000, 2,000 coins over their lowest buy it now. You will get a couple sales and these card prices will continue to rise throughout the week in my opinion. That is, of course, as long as... EA does not run lightning rounds or they do not drop any SBCs that have a really crazy tradable pack supply uh, because that's the only thing that can make fodder like drop at the moment would be EA supplying the market with tradable packs which would put those gold cards on the market tradable because all of those packs the big ones that we were talking about those are untradable. The season rewards, whatever you want to call them for the World Cup event and then the 83 times 10 and all the winter wild cards packs are untradable. So I think it's going to make fodder rise throughout the week and it's going to be just, it's going to be a blast as well, right? Think about all these insane packs we're going to get to open. And I mean, it's going to, some people are going to get lucky and pack some winter wild cards and, you know, stuff like that. I know we don't have a team of the week out right now. We just have winter wild cards, but some people are going to pack those cards and it's going to be fun. So best of luck when you're opening those packs throughout the rest of the week. But speaking of winter wild cards and these winter wild cards team, two cards that are in packs right now, if they get packed a lot, is it going to impact their price? This is the other side of the coin, right? Everybody's going to be drawn to SBCs by getting these packs and, and doing those uh, SBCs with crafting. What's going to happen to these guys, right? They're going to get packed a little bit. I think guys like Verts, um, you know, this Milinkovic, Savage, Amavi, some of your lower tier, like under 50,000 coin cards, I think these have the potential to drop off in price. I really do because they're going to get packed a decent amount. A lot of people are going to be packing guys like Under Herrera, Weghorst, Pepe, Fabio, Boateng, these sorts of lower tier cards in this team. People are going to be packing them a lot untradeable because they're pretty packable, right? Guys like Matt, Alan St. Maximin, Adama Trey, Ore, Kimmich, Varan, Benzema, your more expensive cards that are in this promo team, they still could drop a little bit, but they're not going to drop that much because they're not going to get packed that often. I don't think that these packs that are dropping on the game today and tomorrow really impact the Winter Wild Cards items that much, um, except for if people just get so excited that they're going to go do SBCs that they have to sell maybe some cards from their team to go and afford to finish an SBC. But even in that case, unless there's panic because of other reasons and by other reasons i mean a loading screen more leaks about the foot centurions promo that we're going to talk about here in a second or some absolutely crazy content that ea drops i don't expect the rest of the market to be impacted super duper crazy because of just these untradeable packs uh, i think it'll really if there's any panic there it'll be caused by other factors so that's what I would say to watch out for on the market. Now, today on Tuesday, regarding content, I do think that EA know, right? EA know that we're getting these big packs that everybody's going to be get the 83 times 10 and all the other stuff. They know that people are getting that fodder. Yeah, there's a lot of SBCs available, but I think a couple weeks ago when we had the Icon pack dropped on a Sunday, they also dropped on that Tuesday, the following two days afterwards, another Gamble Pack SBC. And I could see something like an 85 plus double, something like that World Cup season player pick where it was like all the World Cup promo cards inside of a player pick. I could see them dropping something like that again. You know, I, I feel like there's a possibility for them to do something along those lines of some sort of some sort of other Gamble player pick SBC, something less than like 150,000 coins. That would be fun that people could just throw their fodder into.
and EA would be very smart for doing something like that because they just gave people a whole bunch of fodder and they don't want people to hold on to that for too long. So that could be a part of our Tuesday content today. Also, we probably are getting another one of those daily player SBCs as we have been throughout this whole entire promo. We had the Kenny SBC yesterday. Um, I think this is really a, a not not a very good value card. It's a cool card for links uh, and just a cool card in general if you really want to get it done for the English and Bundesliga links. But 77 composure, 98 shot power is cool, 75 strength. He just does not really look like that good of a card. He only has a two star weak foot. He can play right back or left back. So it's nice for some chemistry squad building options. But unless you have a bunch of extra fodder and you really just don't have anything else to turn it into, I would probably not have this card too high in my list of SBCs to complete. There's another Bundesliga striker by the name of Han, and that is one of our other leaked SBCs. But again, the same point remains true. EA could still drop something kind of nuts um, today or tomorrow. We have a couple days left for player SBCs, and I think we only have two more. We have three days left to player SBCs, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we would imagine. So maybe there's another surprise left uh, for from EA Sports here. Some people are still wondering if there's going to be a big French player player SBC. I don't know about that. I know it's been talked about on Twitter a lot. I'm not entirely sure. That's something to keep in mind, but I don't exactly know. There's no truth behind that. Only just a couple of rumors and maybe a couple of leaks. So that's something I'd be a little bit careful about trying to believe right now and expecting. We only have two more leaked SBCs, but we'll see if we see any more dropped instead uh, of those ones that we have leaked or any surprises like we had with the Maxime Hullet. That was a bit of a, a surprise. So other thing I would watch out for today would be a brand new loading screen because Tuesdays this year have been like a popular day for EA to put brand new loading screens out at the front page as you load into FIFA, kind of teasing the next promo. They do it on Tuesdays. I don't know why. They did it during the World Cup promos like a day early, usually Wednesdays we see those. So either today or tomorrow, I think EA, since the next promo is a brand spanking new one never seen before, Foot Centurions, I think they might be doing an early loading screen. So either today or tomorrow, watch out for that. Now, let's talk about the, the rest of the market a little bit more and kind of talk detailed about some of these players. Well, Again, like I said, with Foot Centurions coming, I think this the Foot Centurions promo is really what could cause panic to make prices drop on the market. The market is up a little bit more. Yesterday, um, I, I bought some really good cards and some good deals late Sunday night, and I held them through content yesterday and Monday because we said this in yesterday's video that some of them might rise further up in price, and absolutely, that was the case for a lot of these cards. I bought these Marquinhos at 540. Ribery was at 400 on a snipe. Tiago was 230. I mean, yeah, this Marquinhos was at 250. So some really good flips in there. I'm still not done selling. I still have some decent cards in here trying to flip and make a little bit of profit on. But today might just be a day where the market is a bit stagnant unless the leaks get pretty crazy. Now, we do have a little bit of information, and I want to share this with you guys because Foot Centurions looks like it could be a pretty good promo. And if we start seeing player leaks really soon, and those players are really big names, I do think the market could start to downturn and people could start to sell because the, the idea behind this promo just looks fun and it looks different and it almost seems like it could be two back-to-back -back W promos, right? Winter Wild Cards is always a W. Foot Centurions, this seems like it could be really cool too with the idea behind it, right? So this is what Foot Sheriff tweeted yesterday. Form is temporary, class is permanent. He also followed it up with a tweet that said, if I could load it here, player item upgrades celebrate a Centurion's longevity in football. With, so either 100 caps, sometimes 100 goals, assists, or clean sheets. So the card design that we know of actually has a little 100 in the background of the card design. So a lot of people, if you look at the, this tweet, they're like, Zlatan? Marco Royce? Like a lot of people are hoping for some of those like nostalgia type players that have played really well at high levels in the past, but maybe aren't at that great of a level anymore because they've gotten a little bit older or whatever it may be. So that's where this promo seems to be headed, right? And that's cool because you might get some of these guys that don't have any special cards this year that are maybe kind of unusable because their base cards are not that amazing. But then you give them like a massive upgrade with a cool card design, that seems like a pretty dope promo to me. So that's why there's excitement for this promo. Now, I'm going to show you guys a leak that is going around. And again, I don't even know if I would call this a leak. 
There is really no substance to this. It might just be a list of players that people think would be really, really good to be in this promo. So take this with the ultimate pinch of salt and don't believe this too hard just yet because this leak or this post right here, these names have been flying around. It's a lot of names. Uh, Foot Insurance is going to be a two-week promo. We know that for sure be, uh, from the leagues. Uh, but there's some pretty big names in here. Neuer, Aspilicueta, Bonucci, Pepe, center back Pepe, Porto, that would be Royce, Xhaka, Griffo, Neymar, Zlatan, De Gea, Otamendi, popping up in leaks again, right? Milner, Forsberg, uh, Vela, Vardy, Iago Aspas, right? So there's some pretty big names in here. If EA give them some nice boosts, especially Pogba, Neymar, Zlatan, Royce, there could be some really insane cards dropped during this promo. But again, until we start to see Foot Sheriff and our other credible sources leak players on Twitter, as actual cards are going to be in the promo the next two weeks, be careful about believing this list of players right here. This has been floating around. It's kind of hearsay, but sometimes these lists are correct. Sometimes they are only halfway correct. Sometimes they are dead wrong. So I even contemplated showing you guys this on the video today because I knew this was floating around, but I wanted to give you an idea of what other players could be a part of this promo. Hopefully we start to see some legitimate leaks very soon. And those could, those could come as easy as today or as early as today, honestly, on this game. So that's got me just trying to be careful about the market. And that's why I think that maybe selling some cards earlier in the weekend or even after yesterday's market rise is a really, really good idea just to be safe because this promo idea looks really sick and it looks really fun. Now, has that stopped me from trading with cards? Absolutely not, right? Since that stuff has been posted, I've still been watching icons. I've still been watching promo cards on the market. We flipped a lot of cards yesterday because to most people who don't follow leaks or who don't know what's going on with any of this stuff um, leak-wise, the market's still in a very, very good place, very uh, healthy place. A lot of people are buying cards for teams. There's a lot of gameplay demand, and the market did rise a considerable amount more yesterday. Now, I would just be careful with that throughout the rest of this week because if everybody's doing SBCs and that's where the hype is, there's going to be less gameplay demand, and there's going to be a lot less people um, just going out and buying teams, honestly. So that's what I would be careful with with the market today now also today our token right we are on 23 tokens just our daily token update i do believe that we will get our next token from today's first owner fiesta i guess that's a potential uh token and the last two weeks we have gotten first owner fiesta tokens as you can see here we have one last week this goes away today could they drop it in here again i think that they absolutely could but that's not a guarantee because since we're getting towards the end of this wild card swapped promo um, I, I just don't know where EA is, if they're going to stay consistent with where they were putting the tokens or if they're going to change it up a little bit because the swaps rewards, um, the World Cup swaps rewards go away and, and based on, on Wednesday, they go away when all the other World Cup stuff ends, we get our big packs and stuff like that. So if you have World Cup swap tokens, make sure you turn them in for something before Wednesday. But these rewards are still out for 10 more days um for the wild card swap so there's still a decent amount of time here but i believe ea said that on january 6th was going to be the last day when they were going to release tokens so we are between depending on how many more tokens ea are going to release we're at 23 right now but that does include the uh the token that was in the moment store and the one that was in the actual store for the 75k pack so we're on 23 tokens we're going to get to 25 through objectives and SBCs. So between three, two, three or four more tokens is what I would expect to see. I would probably say three or four is more likely. Uh, that would just be one token every day from now um, until Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a token on Friday still. So three to four tokens. Again, it's really... It's really a mess. We never know exactly how many we're going to get. EA tell us 25, but then there's going to be bonus, but we don't know how many bonus, but there's 30 that are in concepts and people think we're going to get 30, but in all actuality, we're probably not going to get 30. So that's a whole kind of weird situation that's going on with winter wildcard swaps, but probably another token today. It says the program ends on January 6th, but the SBCs are still out later than that because obviously today is January 3rd and it's three days from now and the SBCs expire in 10 days. So January 6th is the end date, so probably three more tokens to come would be my guess. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the next three days. Who knows? We'll have to see. Uh, but of course, for all of us that are trying to get that token grind and to try to be following that up very closely, um, we are getting towards the end of the line. And of course, if you have been claiming like I did, I already did the 85 times 10. So I got to try to keep up with these Winter Wild Card challenges, get my last 10 tokens to go ahead and do the 83 times 25. And other than that, 
it's a good day to be doing upgrade packs. I, I forgot to say this earlier when we were talking about the just the whole insane packs spree that's going to be on this game. Watch out for uh, the non-rares, right? Because the 78 plus triple upgrade that dropped yesterday, it requires 10 golds, one rare. I think it's a decent value SBC because you get three players. Think of it as like a 78 plus player pick, but you get to take home all the players that are inside that player pick and not just choose one of them. I think it's good value, but I will say this, you get a lot of duplicates since there's three players in each pack and that can be a bit of annoying. Uh, so what I would say to do is don't stack up like 20 or 30 of these, do like three or four, but then have extra non-rares and rares in your club so that as you're doing those packs, when you get duplicate, like let's say 78 to 80 rated gold cards, you can just chuck them back into that SBC, rinse with your non-rares that are still in your club, and then boom, you have less um, unassigned cards that way and it's less annoying because I know the one drawback to this 78 plus is that people can't do it like player picks and just keep your fodder unassigned while still opening those player pick upgrades. With this, you can't have anything in your unassigned. So that's the only drawback to those 78 plus triples. But if you're continuing the objective grind, whether you're doing the friendly mode, whether you're doing the drafts, there is still so much to do in this game or league SBCs, right? The league SBC grind is undefeated. It's going to be a crazy day today with all these packs. If you guys are going to be opening them, we'll be opening some of them on stream. Twitch.tv slash the foot account. The link down below is in the description. It's going to be a wild Tuesday today on this game and a wild next couple days with all the focus being on the free packs that we are going to be getting and all the fodder and winter wild cards, hopefully, that we will be packing from those packs. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.